So next we're going to talk about STL files. Um, these are kind of the backbone of the 3D printing industry. Um, you know, when you send a file to a company like Forerunner, um, a lot of times we'll ask for it to be sent uh, in STL. <clears throat> But there's some things to know around this file format. Specifically, I run into some people who think I'm going to crank the quality settings all the way up in SolidWorks and I'm going to get a really, really nice high quality part. Um, and the first thing we do when we get a three gigabyte STL file is we bring it into our, our 3D printing software and we try and go reduce it um, because a three gigabyte you know, STL file is just, it just hammers our computers. It hammers our machines. Uh, it sucks. So, you know, what I like to help people understand is like, you can be too coarse with your mess, which is too coarse with your mesh, which would be like this image right here. You know, these triangles are going to actually show up in the surface of your part. The, the mesh is too coarse. Now it's a nice small file, that's nice, but it's it's too coarse. It's gonna look, it's gonna degrade the looks and function of your 3D printed part. The other hand, you can see this uh, this ball on the far right. It's almost black because the triangles are so small. Um, that's gonna be your three gigabyte file right there. You're not gonna gain any additional accuracy. You're not gonna get any better surface quality. Like I said, we're gonna triangle reduce it as soon as we get it. What you want is a good middle of the road mesh, not too big not too small, just right. Um, <clears throat> so what you can do in SolidWorks to control this is if you go to File, Save As, and then set the, the file type to STL, there's an option button that pops up on the uh, Save As uh, window in SolidWorks. And that will enable you to get to this window right here. Um, and so you wanna set it to STL file format and basically, you know, tolerance of five tenths and an angle tolerance of 10 degrees. And that's going to get you a really nice looking 3D printed part, but it's not going to cause our computers to melt down because the file is three gigabytes in size. So when anyone asks, that is what I recommend for file size to get the best of both worlds and not leave it up to someone like me to decimate your part to reduce the triangle count. <clears throat> Okay, well, that is my presentation. Uh, I appreciate your time and sticking with me here to the end. Um, we covered a lot of ground today. Um, you know, definitely hit me up and I'd be happy to share this slide deck with you. Um, again, Paul DeWise, and uh, you can see on the screen here is my email address. So, you know, shoot me an email or uh, I'm extremely active on LinkedIn as well. So, please uh, reach out and uh, connect with me on LinkedIn and you know, slide into my DMs. I'd be happy to send you the, the slide deck that way as well. Um, <clears throat> you know, also, I'm, I'm always happy to answer questions or give feedback on design. So you know, if you're working on something and uh, it's gonna be 3D printed and you're looking for someone to be a second set of eyes, you know, feel free to reach out to me. Um, I do a lot of that. Um, <clears throat> and also one last shameless plug, check out our website, uh, forerunner3d.com. Um, it's got a ton of great information. We do a lot of testing and a lot of R&D and we publish everything to our website. So there's great design guides for all the technologies we talked about today um, with a lot of content that you're just not gonna find anywhere else. Um, so yeah, so thank you so much for your time and attention and uh, look forward to hopefully hearing from you.